Good, it won today is Monday, October 2nd, 2023, Jeff Date for Tuesday the 3rd. All right, let's go. Well, as far as setups, I like the CCJ, it's a uranium. Uranium got hit pretty hard today, but it's starting to produce uh, some TKO type of moves, some pullbacks, etc. This should just be a pullback in here. Elf is still a possible setup, obviously. We'll take a look at that in just one second. Not a whole lot to talk about in the portfolio. We'll get there, too. You can see quite a few shorts in here tonight. As far as official setups, let's stick with the ELF. This KBH still looks like it's in a lot of trouble, and we'll talk about that in one second. As far as official setups, also, in addition to ELF, the CCJ, kind of a TKO type of pullback in here. Uranium, uh, as I just said a second ago, getting hit fairly hard. Coal stocks also beginning to pull back in here. We might see some setups there soon. And then in energies and general urg could use a little bit deeper pullback but i'm keeping an eye on these these uraniums obviously this one looks a little bit better than the urg for now official setup would be c c j n uranium kind of a low hv for uranium kind of surprising there let's take a look at the landry list and once again elf still an official setup in here i'm sorry let's take a look at the portfolio KNF, eh, sell enough a little bit off its worst levels, but still just stuck in this range and still finding a little support toward the bottom of this range. Obviously, under stops just in case. KBH turning back down in here. That's a stock that looks like a lot of trouble. I know the short side can be really, really bumpy, but this thing looks like a major top remains in place. LFMD taking off to new highs in here, new multi year highs at least before coming back in by the end of the day. But so far, so good. Its recent breakout obviously remains intact so let's take a look at the overall market there's a lot to flesh out tonight a lot of the same stuff yeah, let's take a look at the piece first and then let's do some drilling down in fact i want to talk a little bit about quite a few of these areas in here first of all s p 500 actually ended up a smidge on the day but that doesn't really tell the whole story there was a lot of areas that got really whacked in here so that's kind of the theme for tonight dollar pretty strong in here banging out some new highs with some vigor i guess we're the dog with least Fleas. Let's take a look at bonds. Bonds, ugh, begging out new lows in here with a little bit of vigor. As you know, we recently took out these major, major lows, and this is just not a pretty sight. I hate to really see that happening. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ composite, a little bit of a bounce there. Better than the poke in the eye, up a little bit more than half a percent. Still looks toppy longer term, and like the S&P, still has that head and shoulder top look to it. Euro got whacked, as you would expect, with the dollar rallying in here with the dollar being the denominator on that one obviously bitcoin was fairly strong but off its best levels as you can see gbtc probed the top of its trading range gold getting whacked in here look at that brand new lows despite what they say on the radio didn't look like you need to rush out and buy gold anytime soon take a look at the rusty that kind of tells a true story of what's happening internally down a percent and a half round numbers almost down to the bottom of this wide and loose sideways trading range that it's been stuck in forever energy is correcting a little bit in here i'm still not seeing a whole lot of setups other than in uranium and possibly coal fairly soon but we might see some setups obviously pretty soon in the energies like i said a second ago a lot of areas getting whacked food's down about one percent off the worst level still down nonetheless financials have been whacked pretty hard in here as of late got whacked today as you can see so far it looks like a kind of a head and shoulder type of top remains in place there real estate begging out new lows probably Helped along by bonds, which are looking pretty ugly, which reminds me, I wanted to show you also utilities real quick. It's not an area we'll look at a whole lot until it's imploding like this or take it off, but not very pretty action happening there. Semiconductors, kind of flatsville in here, up a little bit on the day, but still looks like a top remains in place there. Software looking questionable at best too, kind of a head and shoulders, bigger picture top in the works there so this kind of goes on and on i don't want to i don't want to bore you too much but i do want to show you that a lot of these areas look at m and c continue to break down here down a percent and a quarter today manufacturing not looking so pretty either down about a percent today so as i was going through all my stocks tonight all the sectors and all just seeing a lot of cornage out there which is kind of interesting with the s p actually up a smidge on the day look at the biotech uh down a percent and a quarter Banging out new lows with vigor off its worst levels, but it's been pretty, it's been in a pretty serious slide as of late. So you get the idea. The list goes on and on. Defense, none of those areas hit fairly hard. In here, big top remains of place there. Manufacturing would be yet another one getting hit fairly hard. Had support down below, but I wouldn't get too excited about it just because it has some support. So 
the indices sans the rusty, I suppose, kind of mask what happened internally today. So it was a fairly ugly day. Anyway, one day at a time, you know, routine, on your stops on all existing positions, take profits when blessed, and all those other things that I preach. And of course, now that we've got a couple of potential new positions in here, make sure you wait for entries. Any questions, you know the routine. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.